Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from AlexMercedCoder.com and this one's going to be pretty quick. I just want to show you guys one more way to do your environmental variables. So in my previous video, we did environmental variables using .env, custom env, uh, env-yml. Now this one is a library to do your config variables in a JSON file called config.json. Seems like it was made like a little over a year ago, but it works perfectly. Uh, there is one issue in, in the doc, so I figured I'd make a video so that way if you did want to use it, um, you can avoid this issue. By default, it would read a config.json. So if you just didn't, uh, you know, didn't want to worry about having to, this particular issue, you just put the config.json. Let me see, do I still have it open? I think I know I don't. Let me go back. There we go. Meh. Yeah, by default, it looks for a config.json file. Okay which I don't have. I wanted to use a custom file, so what you can do is you pass in an object, and you, wanna, you need to have this property called file path. If you read the docs, it says path, but you really want file path for this to work. And then you just specify the path. So what I did here is basically the path is based on whatever the node environment is that I pass in in my script. And in my script, I pass in development and production, depending on which script I run. So then here I have two production.json and development.json and it just pulls in those variables so if I go over here and I type in npm run dev see 3000 in American now let me all go to the production now I type in npm start 4000 gouda I get the production because again those scripts pass in that node env and it's pretty simple okay you require the library so dot json require config dot json and you just run this load function pass in the file path and uh, yeah it works so figure that'd be a nice little thing if you like to use json files that's another option so now you you see between these two videos how to use JSON files, YAML files, how to work with multiple .env files to or um, do your environmental variables. So have a good one. Ciao. Talk to you guys later. And ciao.